Recently, I've been noticing Firefox running very slow on certain websites, particularly JavaScript heavy websites. For example, here on YouTube, where I just cannot seem to open my channel, but yet this same web page works perfectly in Chrome. So what is going on? It's not just a problem with my internet, it seems to be more a browser specific problem. I happen to notice this add-on I have here, YouTube Best Video Downloader, flashed up briefly, probably because of a recent update. And as it turns out, this update has turned the add-on into a tracker. A complete invasion of privacy. This is a particular danger of browser add-ons that it sees everything you do on the internet, regardless of the page is encrypted or not. By the time the page gets to your browser here, with you viewing it on the screen, the encrypted stream has been decoded. So it knows exactly what you're looking at. Now what I do notice is that add-on has suddenly disappeared. But it seems to still be active because this domain it's been looking at, fileserve.xyz, which started on 25th of March and has received a high number of visits, you know, it's still being actively used. So looking at uBlock Origin for the pages being loaded on YouTube does show a couple of extras, although it's not particularly obvious because this is Google and it does open quite a few different sites. Legitimately, quite a few different parts of Google do get opened to view each part here on YouTube. But looking at my own web server where there should be one site being loaded from, no track, stored on a local domain, on a Raspberry Pi on my local network. Yeah, I should be seeing one site, but I'm not. Why am I seeing FrillingOS, HeroCoop.com, FileServe.xyz, and this Amazon page? That doesn't make sense. Those shouldn't be there at all. And taking a look at the actual pages, well, FileServe.xyz does not appear to be opening anything. And look at the page a few days later on Archive.is, still seems to be the same problem nothing is being loaded. However, the script on Amazon is being served. I've got no chance of reading all like this, so let's highlight all that. Pop it into a JavaScript beautifier and beautify it. So yeah, quite a lot. Um, 10,000 lines. Wait, 10,000 lines of... I, I still don't even know what this is. This is the same script also stored on Thrilling OS. So yes, what is it? Now the answer has appeared here in the Mozilla support forums and this is the question every time I go to my home page the browser connects to yeah, those two domains I've just mentioned. Chosen solution if you have an extension similar to YouTube best video downloader disable it more info on this thread. Nothing to do with the particular update on Mozilla but more to do with the actual add-on. So yep yeah, looking across this other thread and it appears to be mentioning about a JavaScript coin miner. So the semantic has been kicking off each time this person goes on the internet about a coin miner occurring. Now it's quite possible there could be a coin miner within those 10,000 lines. So disabling the YouTube best video downloader to the attack stopped. Disabling the other add-ons made no difference. So that does kind of narrow it down quite nicely. And someone has looked at the code and it says it's intended to do some kind of global logging of certain activity in pages. So yeah, that's the script been loaded. Improved analytics to serve better. To serve whom better? That is a bloody good question. To serve whom better and to do what better? Why does this add-on, which let's go from the name of it, YouTube Best Video Downloader, which should be working on YouTube, why should it need to exist on any other page on the internet? That is a good question. As for me, as soon as I disable it and try and go back onto YouTube, everything works perfectly. I have a strong suspicion that part of the problem is this fileserve.xyz. If you're trying to call a domain which doesn't exist or is not serving up any files, each time you're viewing every single page of wherever you're going, this is going to cause a drastic slowdown. It is interesting that Mozilla seemed to have disabled this. I'm, yeah, I'm using that exact link. So I've gone across to download, select your browser, Mozilla Firefox, and yeah, we've got page not found. Perhaps they have taken action already to disable it, in which case, well done Mozilla. But if you have this add-on still on your system, I would get it off. And if you're using it for any of these other browsers, yeah, just disable it. For me, I'm going to try a different add-on now and see if that works. Although, to be fair, I don't exactly download particularly much from YouTube nowadays. But that was a look at the 
privacy invasion of YouTube Best Video Downloader. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.